hats off to our moms. Mother's Day is almost here and we're celebrating our moms with this week's City Line Reel Challenge. So we want to know, what is the most important lesson you learned from your mother? I'm sure there are so many. Did she teach you not to sweat the small stuff or how to bake the best chocolate chip cookies ever? Post your answers to your social media accounts with the hashtag City Line Reel and City Line Loves Mom. And of course, we love moms so much. We invited one into, into our studio today, Chef Devin Rajkumar and his mom, Hello. 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 So happy you're here. Thank and you. you are the sweetest thing ever, which doesn't surprise me at all because we really do love Devin. Um, he's been an oh. incredible addition to the team. I want to know from you, Dev, what have you learned from your mom? Is it cooking? I think from an early age, I was very inspired because my mom, like, she uses so many different cooking techniques and she uses so many different types of ingredients. So I'd grow up with, like, bocconcini and saffron nice. and things that maybe a young guy and his boy wouldn't have grown up with. <laughs> so it, it, it helped me diversify my kind of culinary techniques and my things uh, as, as I was growing up. And yeah. this recipe that my mom is doing today is one that I'm not even going to bother trying to make. It's because you Aww. just can't top it. Right? Right? So give me the recipe and like I, I, you need mother's touch. Yes. You know? Oh, I love that you recognize that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to make a banana cake. Okay. Um, and this is, is this one of your signature recipes? Uh, yes. yes. Yes, it is. Okay. So you've done yeah. it a few times. I have. I have. And, and Devin loves it. So yeah. if Devin loves it, then I think it's <laughs> okay. Yeah. <'cause> he, must, <laughs> he must be a tough judge. Is he a tough judge he, with he your is. food? Well, he's honest. Okay. Oh boy. He, he's honest. He's he tells honest. me, yes. Okay. But my mom is very talented though. Like for someone who's vegetarian, she can cook chicken like a hundred different ways. Like it's very, very nice. inspiring. And I would follow her around uh, the kitchen growing up as a kid, like licking spatulas and things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's lovely. I love and, that. And, and I'm not even here right now. This is her. Okay. Well, some of the best memories were made in the kitchen. So why don't you walk us through how you make your banana cake? I'm sure, do you even have instructions when you bake now or do you just um, know it all from memory? Well, not, not for this recipe. You know it. Yes, I yeah. do. Okay. Yes, I do. How do we start it, okay. my love? So here, we, we have sugar and butter. Okay. One and a third cups of sugar and uh, three quarters of a cup of butter. Nice. I started this I, ahead of time because it takes a little while to get the sugar moistened. Yeah. And then I'll put that aside. Okay. I'll add my wet ingredients. And what have you got there for what? We've got, we've got banana, mushed banana. How many bananas do you know? I always use more than recipes call for. I, I use... <laughs> She's a real I have, mom. I have two bananas here. Some of them say half a cup of banana or... And, and mother, do we want unripe bananas, ripe bananas? Oh, fully, very, fully, fully ripe bananas. Okay. Fully you ripe know bananas. the ugly ones you may be tempted to throw out? Yes. Those ones. My kids can't wait for the bananas to go bad so that, yeah, mm, so so that daddy makes have, banana bread. Oh, yeah, wonderful. Yeah, they love that. So what I'll do, I'll add um, two tablespoons of lemon juice. Nice. That will curdle the milk. And this is my touch, some yogurt, two tablespoons of yogurt. And ah. yogurt, what does yogurt do? <laughs> <laughs> you have a good question, Dad. Yogurt helps to, you know, it's a substitute for sour cream. Right. Sour cream um, makes the batter fluffy and airy and creamy, yeah. so the yogurt is a healthy substitute for the sour cream. Almost like so a buttermilkish. Yeah. yeah, so I have, um, yes, it's a buttermilkish consistency. You always keep that in mind when you're cooking, I imagine, because look at how svelte you healthy? are. Yeah, you're healthy. Oh, it's hidden. No, <laughs> oh my God, you look Thank great. Thank you. And a I'll add eggs two eggs. Uh -huh. And we don't go too crazy about beating the head. And, and when you're at home, make sure you time. find the smallest bowl that you can to whisk. <laughs> okay. Nothing too big. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the chef. Yes, you're doing okay. great. You're doing great. Now for the dry ingredients. Yeah. We've got two and a third cups of uh, flour, and I've got some whole wheat in here, along with all-purpose flour. I like that. We do that a lot too. Put in the whole wheat well, flour. Well, there there are a lot of really really good flours out there nice for mix. gluten free, and so on. Mm -hmm. People who are, who are gluten free uh, have to have gluten free diets. Sorry. Yeah. Um, so. No, I hear you. We have the flour, and I have in here a teaspoon of baking soda, a one and a quarter teaspoons of baking powder, okay. some cinnamon and nutmeg to taste. So the soda and powder are different things, people, just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that. Very different, yes. Very different. They do so different things. So here we have our dry and wet ingredients. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do it for her. 
She's doing it her <laughs> this way. This is a special touch. This yes. is homemade vanilla extract. You made that? Yes, we did. Yeah. Oh, very nice. And so, okay. Go ahead, Dad. Go. No, just, talk. Say, my, just talk. No, no my cousin uh, lived in Madagascar say? for a while, so yeah. uh, they would smuggle back a whole bunch of beans. Then my mom <laughs> made made a bunch of extract. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's all made now. It's we okay. can't get in trouble. If it makes the banana bread better, they're allowed to smuggle. If you're it using out. artificial uh, vanilla flavor, there's no comparison when you're comparing it to the actual bean. And also, a quick quick tip: when you're using vanilla in a recipe, and you see a recipe, double the vanilla always. Okay, quick tip. Oh, always really? Always double the vanilla. No, we hear time and time again from all of the, the chefs, the cooks, the home economists on the show, it needs to be the real vanilla extract. Yeah, big, You're not going to get that flavor, but double it. That's a new one. Yeah, yeah. have some class. <laughs> this is our have vanilla some class, bean. people. Would you double it? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna fast forward. You're gonna see the magic of television right now. Zoop, yeah. zoop, 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 zoop. We've gone forward and we've put all of those ingredients in mm -hmm. this lovely pan. We've baked it for how long? For 35 minutes at, at 350 degrees. <coughs> okay, all and, right. And then we've and come out with. Yeah, go ahead. We'll take we'll take this to test it, right? Yes. If it comes out clean, that means it's finished baking because ovens vary the temperature. Right. And if it comes out moist, then we put it back for maybe another five, ten minutes. And you did a healthy one and you did a my version of one? Yes. There's so what's in the that, healthy one? The healthy one has some pumpkin seeds, uh, sunflower seeds, Crazy. walnuts, craisins, dark chocolate. So good for you. Okay, yeah. and then what's in Devon's? That one has white chocolate, <laughs> yeah. score. Oh, nice. Oh, good stuff. Yes. Um, some milk chocolate yes. and craisins also. That was so good. I like that. that I, I think that you guys should always have separate kitchens because this guy's going to be breathing down your neck every I'm time you cook, eh? <laughs> That's how it is, though. Usually it's the other way around in my house. It's but, my mom saying, no, 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 no. Get away from that. Let me but, do the but, chopping for yeah, you. But this is nice. Too. There's you a little bit of that, too. That is a little bit of that, too. <laughs> okay, just know if you are doing this recipe that obviously there might be nuts, so you might want to take those out. Out That's right. If you're doing your own version. <laughs> also, uh, you can get this recipe at cityline.ca. Should we share some with the audience? We sure. brought for the whole audience. Oh my gosh, that's great! Yeah.